So we've done quite a lot on the interior in the car, removing bits and pieces, removing trim. We removed the entire center console, you know, we removed the fascia along here. We removed these fan units, we've removed the glove box, we've removed the dials. One of the things that we haven't done though, is remove this uh, vent control unit. So I thought today we'd just have a quick look at that to try and work out how this comes off. So it's a bit difficult to get a decent camera angle on here, but hopefully you can see everything. So all I'm gonna do, I've just got my pry tool here. I'm just gonna kind of go in from the bottom and just give it a little lever forward. It doesn't come away too much. So I'm just gonna kind of go in from the side here as well and just kind of pull forward, pry it forward a little bit. Okay, there we go. So just going in the side there, it gave us a nice little release just on one of the clips and straight away I can see one of those metal pins there and it feels like just on the bottom here as well there's another one so I'm guessing what we're going to get is the same on the other side also so if I can just pull this and release this bit over here also okay it's quite challenging I think I can see what needs to be done now it's just the case of releasing it hopefully without bending those springs back Okay, so there we go. So it come away pretty easily in the end. So you can just see we've got these metal springs here. Same as the ones that we saw on the number plate lights as well. So I'm not a great fan of these because I know that they tend to bend up a little bit and deform and don't go back in very well. But having said that, these ones have actually come away very well. So you've got two at the bottom, as you can see there, and then the two at the top, exactly the same kind of opposite each other. And you've just got your wiring loom in now. And then obviously we've got that plug similar to the other ones that we've seen on other parts of the car so we've got that little lug there to remove it we just, we just push that down like that if i can do it so you can see on the camera pushing that down at the same time pushing the red lever forward and then we'll be able to slide that down there we go and away it comes and that's the unit then away as ever, while it's off, always take the opportunity just to give it a nice clean up. That way we know it's nice and clean when we put everything back. Okay, and with that all clean, what we'll do is just get it back in. So the plug it only goes in one way, it's relatively obvious which way it goes. We'll just slide that back in and then obviously as it goes in, lift up the plug lever. It kind of pushes it down and that will click it back into place. That little pin comes out. And then we've got the unit there and we can just slide that back in and there we go that's it all back together so now with it back in what i'm going to do is just check make sure it's working fine so i've just got the car on just got the ignition on we can just turn the fans on everything looks to be good we can hear the fan blowing we can check the windows everything they all seem to be coming on fine it automatically switches to high which is good we can turn them off, aircon's on, it's all working, so we've not compromised anything, it's all good. We haven't got any error messages up on the dashboard either, so I'm guessing that we might have an intermittent uh, fault when we go in and plug in the diagnostic tool next time, just saying on the CAN bus line, because that sits on the CAN bus line, so we'll be able to clear that code if it throws anything up. But for now, that's all we need to do. So if you've enjoyed it, remember to give us a like down below. If you haven't done so already, remember to hit subscribe coming up here now. Like I always say, the more likes and subscribers I get, the more videos I'll keep making as well. So really appreciate your time for watching it. Thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.